Hey what's up guys, Rev here. Today I have an epic tale to share with you, a story that features Spider-Man, lollies, and a whole lot of brain rot. So today's main protagonist is this Twitter user. While I'm not sure of whether he's a Spider-Man superfan or a Spider-Man LARPer or maybe both, one thing is for sure, he is not fond of anime fans. Based on his tweets you would think anime fans killed his Uncle Ben or something. But the shenanigans began with this tweet where he stated, This is literally just a 14 year old girl. What is there to simp for unless you like kids? For context, the image on the left is a viewer taking issue with being called a pedo for liking Penny Parker, while our spider enthusiast replied with, You were simping for a character who's a 14 year old girl. How do you have this little self awareness? He really thought he did something here. While Spider Man is out there fighting criminals in his universe, this spider boy is struggling with the definition of literally. Much like the character he bases his entire personality on, Penny Parker is a fictional character. She is not a literal 14 year old, she's quite literally pixels on your screen. Like I know there's a multiverse in that franchise, so can you find one where you can separate fiction from reality? I'm sure you don't watch Spider-Man slinging webs out of his wrists and think that's an accurate depiction of real life people, but you think Penny Parker who fights monsters alongside someone like Spider-Ham is an accurate representation of a real-life 14-year-old girl? If so, take your meds. But it was this quote retweet that really set things into motion. This user stating, Put all this energy into helping real kids if you actually care. The drawings won't thank you. Where our spider enjoyer made this quote retweet stating, What effing energy is there in one tweet, idiot? First of all, Spider-Man would never curse this much. But it raises a fair point. If you were on such a crusade to protect children, why would you waste a single tweet on fictional content? Because it's not that hard to find actual predators on Twitter. Literally just type in the most disgusting and obviously criminal hashtags you can think of, and you'll find predators unironically using them in broad daylight to lure in potential victims. Go make a difference by reporting and calling out those accounts, not people who like Penny Parker, the fictional character. And in later threads related to these concerns, this dollar store Spider-Man projects his kinks onto another user calling him out for his very clear prioritization of fictional characters over real life victims. This is the kind of environment they're fostering. You know you messed up when these type of replies agreeing with them are equating comments about Penny Parker, the fictional character, to stealing government IDs from real life people. But that's gonna do for this special version of Spider-Man Enter the Copium Verse. I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys next time.